President Bush insists Saddam Hussein was a danger to the world. He says the war was justified even if no weapons have been found. President Putin says he's not satisfied with Washington's latest UN resolution on Iraq. Gunmen opened fire on Shiite worshippers in Pakistan. They've killed at least seven. Welcome to BBC World News. My name is Mike Embley. President Bush has defended his decision to attack Iraq in the wake of a report by an American-led team of experts that said no weapons of mass destruction had been found. Mr. Bush said the report made clear that Iraq had been a threat to the world. He said there was evidence Saddam Hussein had been in breach of UN resolutions and he pointed to the experts' discovery of what they say were significant signs of activities relating to weapons programs. Stay with us. We have still to come on the program. We're in the American state where minorities form the majority. Could this man become California's first Latino governor in 125 years? More after the break. Welcome back. You're watching BBC World. Let's give you the main international headlines. President Bush insists that Saddam Hussein is a danger to the world and that the decision to go to war was justified. Gunmen have opened fire on Shiite worshippers in Pakistan. They've killed at least seven. Thousands of Iraqi Shiites have gathered in Najaf to mark the end of the 40-day mourning period for Ayatollah Mohammed Bakr al-Hakim. He was killed in a bomb attack along with about 80 other people. Ayatollah Mohammed Bakr You're watching BBC World. Aaron is here now with the latest international business news. Some good news from the U.S. That's right, Mike. Some, definitely some good news from the U.S. U.S. businesses unexpectedly hired 57,000 extra people in September, finally snapping a seven-month run of layoffs. Not enough, though, to change the jobless rate. They're also advancing. That's after Lehman Brothers recommended investors to snap up those shares. Let's take a quick look. Europe's pretty much the same. Very optimistic. Great, hopefully great finish for Friday. And it's basically up on the back that analysts recommend investors to buy shares in Nokia, Aegon and ASML Holdings. Good news. And that's it with the business news, Mike. All right, thank you You're very much. <laughs> Let's take you to California, where voters go to the polls next week to decide whether to throw their present governor, Gray Davis, out of office. He is being blamed for the state's massive budget deficit. It stands at $38 billion. Among the 135 candidates, no less, looking to replace... You're watching BBC World. And here with the latest international sports news, Barry Milnes. Thanks very much, Mike. Hello again. We begin with cricket and South Africa have made a strong start to their run chase in the first of five one-day internationals in their delayed... And that's all the sports news for the moment. Barry, right. many thanks. The main international news for you. President Bush has defended his decision to attack Iraq. This in the wake of the report by the American-led team of experts that says no weapons of mass destruction have been found so far. More international news here on BBC World in just over half an hour. Stay with us.